New York Times reporting student loan forgiveness program approval letters may be invalid, the Education Department says. More than 550,000 people have signed up for a federal program that promises to repay their remaining student loans after they work 10 years in a public service job. But now some of those workers are left to wonder if the government will hold up its end of the bargain or leave them stuck with thousands of dollars in debt that they thought would be eliminated. In a legal filing submitted last week, the Education Department suggested that borrowers could not rely on the program's administrator to say accurately whether they qualify for debt forgiveness. Well, then who the flip can? If the people you idiots at the federal government hired, the idiots you idiots hired cannot say who qualifies, then who the flip can? Unbelievable. Only the federal government could be this incompetent. On with the article. The thousands of approval letters that have been sent out by the administrator, here's the other idiots, federal loan servicing, which if you've ever talked to those people, you know what I'm talking about. Their parents are cousins. The thousands of approval letters that have been sent out by the administrator, Fed Loan Servicing, are not, uh, are not binding and can be rescinded at any time, the Education Department said. The filing adds to questions and concerns about the program just as the first potential beneficiaries reach the end of their 10-year commitment. So after 10 years, we're going to look at you and go, whoop, just kidding. After you did, yeah, you believe you believe the federal government got gotcha! you. Yeah, that's why the clock started ticking on the remainder of their debts. Four borrowers in the American Bar Association have filed suit in the United States District Court in Washington against the Department of Education. The plaintiffs held that jobs that they were initially told qualified for debt forgiveness only later have that decision reversed with no evident way to appeal they say the suit seeks to have their eligibility for the forgiveness program restored there is so much wrong with this i don't have time to cover it problem number one don't be so stupid as to wait 10 years to pay off your student loan get six jobs sell so much stuff the kids think they're next live on beans and rice and get rid of your student loans that's problem number one. Never sign up for something that keeps you in debt for 10 freaking years. That is an indication that you need to make more money. And that means you need to do more work and get this mess cleaned up. 10 years is not acceptable time to stay in debt. Period. That's just stupid on your part. Don't do that. I get calls every week. Should I do the 10-year? No, you should not do the 10-year forgiveness program. No, I've been saying it for 10 years. No, don't do that. The other problem is, I mean, what kind of ethics? Oh, ethics in federal government. I just almost said that in the same sentence. That was dumb. Uh, is there that, I mean, Congress, if you guys don't put your little hands together up there and sing kumbaya and pass a law to smack your education department in the mouth and say the very agency that you hired, the administrator that you hired, you have to stand behind what they said. That's just basic integrity. Unbelievable, Congress. I can't believe this even makes the New York Times and Congress hadn't already got a bill on the floor. I mean, in 30 seconds, that ought to be a... I mean, this is something Democrats and Republicans ought to be able to agree on, that the federal government shouldn't lie to somebody for 10 freaking years and then go, oh, just kidding. You still owe the money. Gotcha! You get to start again. Welcome to the student loan lottery. <sighs> if the administrator hired by the federal government says you're out of the student loan debt after 10 years, you should be out. It was a stupid plan to begin with. You shouldn't have been in the stupid plan to begin with. Already covered that. But if you're stupid enough to get in the stupid plan to begin with, the idiots at the federal government, there's a lot of stupid in this whole thing right here. They, they should be made to abide by the ruling that they're administrator. It's, a law, it's the law of agency. It probably technically doesn't apply here for you lawyers. But basically, when you hire someone to represent you, guess what? They represent you. And what they say is binding upon you. 
And that's the concept here. It's a basic ethics concept. It's a basic legal ethics concept. You don't even have to be a lawyer to grasp this one. Yeah, so the administrator hired by the federal government says that you you qualify, but the federal government comes back and goes, no, not so fast. We don't think we like them. We hired them. We paid them. We gave them the power to completely administrate everything having to do with your loan, but except for that part when they said you weren't going to owe any more after 10 years of working for this particular public service job. Yeah, we were just kidding. See, this is the kind of crap you deal with. You don't think the borrower is slave to the lender when you hear something like this? You do understand the borrower is slave to the lender. See, when you're a slave, people just make up crap, do whatever they want to. They just move stuff around. Happened to me when I was going broke. I couldn't believe the stuff. These bankers, man, they just made up stuff. They just lie. I mean, this is the federal government looking at 550,000 people and going, we lied. You're screwed. We lied. You're screwed. How Congress has not fixed this in 30 seconds. Democrats and Republicans really ought to be able to agree on this one pretty quick. This is not like a problem that really, I mean, basically the federal government ought to keep its word. That's not hard, you know, really, you, you ought to maintain your integrity. But here for the rest of you, don't get in the stupid plan and then you wouldn't have the problem. So, you know, there's enough crazy and stupid to go around in this whole story here. So the education department says that federal loan servicing, its administrator, does not have the binding, the ability to issue a binding agreement on their behalf. What a crock. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, kudos to the American Bar Association for reaching over and punching them in the mouth. At least somebody's looking up and standing up for this. Congress, it's time. I don't get in your politics. You guys all fight up there about nothing half the time. Don't do much anyway. Not real sure why any of you are there, why we allow any of you to hang out, stand around, pop your gums. But this is a chance for you to actually reach over and stupid education department. That's kind of funny when you just say that in a sentence. Stupid education department. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Oxymoronic part of this is scary. So here's the rule. Don't trust federal government. <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy theory, doesn't it? <laughs> and don't get in a line that takes you 10 years to pay off your student loan debt. That was dumb to start with. Just get yourself out of debt in like two years, in 12 months, like we hear all the time on here with the debt-free screams. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. Thank you.